knowledge for the sake of understanding that is the essence of our being none can define its limits or set its ultimate boundaries with this meaningful quote of vanava bush we start with the just a minute activity designed for grade 4 today i sunrath and i ritisha will take all of you to through the journey of an interesting interhouse activity before we start let us heartily welcome our beloved kalpana ma'am shil sir puneet sir and our esteemed judges anjum farishta ma'am anuradha vyas ma'am we also welcome our teachers participants and the audience so now my friend ritisha will share some rules for the competition the participant has to be prepared for a 1 minute speech on the five topics a memorable experience with your favorite family member if i was invisible for a day count your blessings are not your curse your most exciting moment while playing sport the day that you got your first pet the judges will ask the participant to speak on any one topic the participant should introduce him or herself and the topic and then start the speech the participant will start speaking when the time keeper asks him or her to start a warning bell will ring at the 58th second and a long bell after 1 minute the video of the participant should be on and the child should be standing away from the camera maintaining eye contact they should be present for both the programs as the result will be declared at the end one the students from each house will be selected based on the performance of the participants one best house will be selected thank you atisha i hope everyone is clear with the rules we begin with karm house which has the motto i create the road as i walk i have the power to make things better our first participant for the day is marshal agrawal from 4i simrat just a minute beta yes ma'am uh, we have uh, we have from dan house um, shorya nathani he is leaving he is traveling so can we take uh, judges can we take him first yeah why not i have no issues yes ma'am anybody can yeah sure shorya nathani can simrat just announce shorya nathani's name yes ma'am Our first participant from Gyan House is Sharan Athan. Okay. Good morning, Sharia. Good morning, ma'am. Okay. Should I, are you prepared? I should I give you the topic? Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Your topic is the day that you got your first pet. Good morning.
Wonderful, Sharia. Very good, very good. Ma'am, so should we go with the Karma House again? Yes, yes. Our first participant for the day is Harshan Agrawal from 4i. Ma'am, topic. Anjum ma'am is giving the topic or should I give? Anjum ma'am? For this house, you can continue and then next house I will give. Okay. So the topic for you is if I was invisible for a day. Ma'am. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. Today I'm going my name is Arshal Agarwal and I'm from 4i. Today I'm going to tell you about if I was invisible for a day. If I was invisible for a day, first of all, I would thank you God for giving me this big opportunity. Just the very idea of making me feel so excited. Being invisible is an amazing fantasy for me. I would feel like a genie who could do anything to everything. Who could do anything to everything. I can travel to any place wherever and when, wherever I want to. I would tease anybody and do all the fun. But nevertheless, I would like to use my powers in, more, in the most fruitful manner. I would just help people in need like the superheroes. Great powers comes with great responsibilities. So this power needs to be handled with care. If you use our magical powers for the benefit of humanity, it would be a justice with the magical powers. Thank you. Very good. Lovely. Very good. Wonderful, Harshil. The, sec the second participant from Karma House is Yuvraj. Okay. We can have a digital cap from our audience to encourage our friends. Tritisha, do you know who is the next participant? Yes, I know. Next, we have Trishita ready with her speech. Okay, good morning, Trishita. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, so your topic would be hmm? your most exciting moment. While playing sport. Okay. Good morning. Ma'am, can I start? Yeah, sure. Just a moment. Just a moment. Just, uh, yes, start. Yes. Good morning, all respected teachers and my all dear friends. I, Trishita Mishra from class 4th, is going to tell my most exciting moment while playing sports. I am fond of sports. My favorite sports are badminton, skating, and chess. Playing sport is exhilarating itself. Sports play a vital role in everyone's life. It is beneficial for our physical as well as mental health. Sports uh, teaches us teamwork and problem-solving skills. I have a lot of good memories while playing sports. I used to play badminton with my mom, dad and cousin. Playing with them and winning every point is exciting. Uh, I, also play, I also enjoy playing uh, I also enjoy doing skating. It makes me, uh, it is all about uh, it is all about balancing yourself and keep on running. I also like I also like to play checks. It gives me mental relaxation. Sport sport is a uh, sport is the best uh, mental relaxation for me. It at the end I would like to say that. Sport, uh, playing, playing sport is exhilarating itself. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Rashita, that was a very informative speech. The last participant of Karma House. Any guesses, friends? Yes, you all are right. We have Adyasha joining us with her speech. Yes, ma'am. Adyasha is ready. Yes, ma'am. 
Uh, Anuradha, ma'am, you are giving the topic, right? Uh -huh. Anuradha. Anuradha. Uh, I think you can give Anjum. Okay, Anjum correct. Okay, and Desha, are you ready, Beta? Yes, so, ma'am. Uh, your topic is count your blessings and not your curse. Okay. Good morning all. My sister Adyasha Samant is going to tell you, count your blessings, not your curse. Blessings are something given by the elders. It gives us, it keeps us positive and energetic. And it gives us happiness and cheers. And it drives us to the good, good things again and again. Whereas, curse brings us fear, sadness and sometimes anger. And gives us negative negative thoughts. For example, when my mother scolds me, I get angry. But after some time, I become normal. So why to waste time in these negative thoughts? So always, one should count the blessing, not the curse. Thank you. Great, Adyasha, you spoke so well. With this, we end with Karma House. Uh, can you give me a, a time? A few seconds, please. Yes, yes. All right, we can move ahead now. Yes. <clears throat> Let us now move to our participants from Vishwas House with the motto, I believe in myself and have the courage to translate my dreams into reality. Our mm -hmm. first participant from Vishwas House is Srinika Nathani. She is telling her voice was not clear. Can you speak again? Uska voice bilkul nahi tha na. So she is just telling that uh, the voice was not at all clear. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Children, others mute yourself. Who is supposed to speak now? Shunika, no? Shunika. Are you ready, Shunika? Shunika? Ma'am, some background noises are coming. So please mute yourself, children. I think Shunika is... Yes, Shunika is there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. Shunika, are Shunika you ready, Rita? We are yes. calling her. Yes, yes. ma'am, I'm ready. Okay, shall I give you the topic? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So your topic, Srinika, is if I was invisible for a day. Wow! Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. My topic for today is if I was invisible for a day. Wow! It's like a dream frame too. I'm invisible for a day. I would do a lot of mischievous things and funny things. Like first, I would go to the market and visit all my favorite candy shops. I would pick up my favorite, even I would pick up my favorite candies and eat them. Then I would go to the street dogs and feed them bread and biscuits. Then I would go back home and put some of the special chili powders into the morning's breakfast. After that, I would go to the temple and worship God and say thank you for this beautiful opportunity. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Shunika. That, that was a wonderful speech. Dear friends, keep encouraging our participants. They are sharing such a lightning content with wonderful expression. The next participant from Vishwas House is Rini Shah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good morning, Renisha. And 
let's pick up a topic for you which can be okay your most exciting moment while playing sport okay ma'am ma'am should i start yes please good morning everyone my name is rinisha kumar and i'm from class 4c i would like to thank the judges for giving me such a wonderful topic my most exciting moment while playing sports sports is a good source of activity which keeps us fit and it helps us strengthening our immunity which is required most in this ongoing pandemic everyone has their own favorite sport but the most exciting moment is when you participate and even win a contest my most exciting moment was when i won gold medals in skating and running i was a bit nervous when i had to take part in the skating contest but i did not lose hope and kept my eyes on the goal without being worried about any obstacles but to be candid i was worried i would bump into someone while skating but in the end i was safe and also a winner my mom and dad were proud of me and i was proud of myself too thank you thank you rinisha that was wonderful good great thank you ma'am yes thanks rinisha for the wonderful speech now we have abhide with us who is ready to share his speech Okay, Abhude, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. So this is something I really want to know from many children. So if I was invisible for a day. Okay, ma'am. Again. <laughs> okay. Good morning, teachers <laughs> and my two friends. I'm Abhude from Four I, and my topic for today is if I were invisible for a day. Dream, dream, dream. Dreams transform into thoughts, and thoughts into actions. Very rightly said by Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. I know that I have to act and work hard to fulfill my dreams but if I were invisible for a day I'm sure that I would make my one dream come true which is that I would spend some time with fierce animals and go through the jungle and see the lion and tiger very closely and I would also stop one or two bad things happening in the society by creating fear in them being invisible in the last I want to say that I will live my life to the fullest that one day Thank you. Thank you, Abhijay. Excellent performance, Abhijay. The last participant from Vishwas House is. With this, we end the presentation of Karma and Vishwas House. Our friends. Simrat and his staff will introduce you to the participants of Gyan and Lux House. So, so Samarth is absent for this house. Vishwas House. Yes, Samarth is absent. Yes, Samarth is not. Um, okay. Just a moment. Uh, like um, uh, Shaurya spoke, but uh, his bandwidth was low due to network problem. He, he was not audible. So, can we start again with him? Yes, Anjum? Yes, yes. Anjum? We can start yes, again with him? Okay. Yes. Simrat, you share Shaurya's name, right? Yes, ma'am. Sim hmm. Now, my friends, our first participant for the day is Shaurya Rathani. Shaurya? Has Anuradha ma'am also dropped the word? No, I just allowed her. No, maybe I due to some network issue, I've rejoined. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. So this Sorry, house... are you ready? Ma'am, I'm doing with this phone. Okay. Okay, Sharia. Mm -hmm. But you are not visible. Sharia. He is. Yeah, he's, not, he's visible, ma'am. He's visible. He's visible. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, yes. Uh, So I think Anuradha ma'am now for this house again you can choose topics. Yeah okay. I'll start with Shorya. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Shorya is ready. Yes, yes ma'am, he is ready. Okay, I have my topic. Okay, just a minute. Shorya, your topic is... 
if i was eligible for a day wow it's like a dream come to to become invisible for a day is such an amazing fantasy that surely most of people in this planet have imagined this in their life one day if i become invisible i would firstly thank god for choosing me and giving me an opportunity to put things to right i would try to change the world to make it a better place i would correct all evil and corruption in society traveling is my passion and i, look, I would travel some of the famous places free of cost i would enjoy roaming around like a free delighted bird i would strike enemies of my motherland by sneaking into enemy camps and destroying them i would also help the police by helping them catch thieves and culprits it could be a unique and adventurous experience thank you ma'am mm. my voice was mm. audible mm. Mm. yes yes sure yes yes what ma'am ki dreamy na nisha say the last line one more time nitisha nitisha unmute yourself beta nitisha yes ma'am unmute yes. yourself and speak the last line beta a uh, friends zimrat and ista will introduce you to the participants of gyan and laksh house begin with gyan house which has the motto i learn from everything and everyone with an open mind i take the onus for my life the second participant <laughs> from gyan house is amgi mam anvi abbu sab bhi ho raha hai anvi are you there beta yes yes ma'am anvi mute here yes are you ready yeah ma'am okay anvi should i give you a topic yes ma'am okay so your topic is count your blessings and not your curses okay ma'am Good morning, friends and respected teachers. My name is Anvi Gurg. I am from class fourth I, and my topic is count your blessings, not your curses. We should count our blessings, not our curses. These blessings can be realized only when we see others not having the same what we are blessed with. It is you want to keep wanting more and not, and not valuing what they have. we should be grateful for things we have in spite of whining over what we do not have it is said complain it is as good for you always have an attitude of gratitude life has many ups and downs count your blessings not your problem write your sorrows in sand write your blessings in stones So, my friends, always count your blessings, not your curses. The thank you. You spoke really well. We can have a digital prayer from our audience to encourage our friends. Ista, do you know who is the next participant? Yes, I know. We have Vibhav ready with his speech. Okay, Vibhav, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Vibhav. So your topic is a memorable experience with your favorite family member. Should I repeat? No, ma'am. Okay, all the best. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Vibhav Jain. I am from Class Four B. My topic is a memorable experience with your favorite family member. My favorite family member is my mother. I went to Vishakhapatnam with her, and we stayed at Hotel Park. It is really a very beautiful property. It has its own beach, and there is a garden besides it named Buddha Park. I have, I am fond of. 
in swimming i am fond of playing in water so i entered beach and ah, and water the swimming in the pool i thoda sa free the water fall get ki the experience of a huge seeing a huge submarine was incredible it is it is the memorable experience yes, for me thank you okay wonderful that was a very informative speech children please That's mute funny. yourself yeah mute yourself okay, okay. Yeah. <coughs> the last participant of grand house any guesses friends uh, yes you all are right he has shortened us with his speech there mute yourself beta for ridhyansh we have ridhyansh right yes ma'am okay so your topic is the day you got your first pet okay ma'am thank you good morning everyone my name is ridhyansh jain and i am for and i am from class 4b today i am very happy to intro introduce you to my jam topic the day i will get i will get my first pet the day i will get my first pet i would be too happy and take care of him i was wanting a pet from and many years and this birthday my father gave to me a pet that was of a boy white color it was a small and cute puppy i feed him and play with him and also make him bath make is wear clothes feed him play with him and do everything for him we are very happy because it's a very entertaining time with our pet i play with my pet i sleep with my pet i do everything with my pet i'm too happy to get this pet on my birthday because if we get someone to entertain us we are too happy like my sisters my brothers and my all family members are not free all the time but that pet is always with me so i am very thankful to all my family members who gifted me this pet thank you praise ridyansh you spoke so well with this we end with gan house let us now move to our participants from lakshmi house with the motto i seek the right road leaving my doubts behind and strive to reach my goal our first participant from lakshya house is athar yes ma'am so athar um, shall i give the topic now anuradha ma'am yes ma'am yeah, ma please yes okay so good morning athar and your topic for today is your most exciting moment while playing sport any sports good morning everyone good morning sir good morning good morning sir ma'am can i start uh yes yes sir yes, yes, yes you can sir. start morning. good morning all of you my name is atharva singh hanya and i am from class four right today i am going to tell you about my my most exciting a uh, moment while playing sports sports help us to development of mental health we gain various skills give us experience and confidence that are helpful for developing our personality it also helps us in physical fitness of our body once there was a tournament in my cricket academy my god grace be for in the final of the tournament it was a challenge that this team will win that team will get a trophy The match was of ten overs. We won the toss and selected to ball four. The opponent team was the target of the seven. In five overs, we made twenty runs. We thought that now it is very difficult to win this match. We made thirty runs and two more overs were left. Now no one had the courage to play because all had thought that we will lose. But then the coach came to us and told that children. We still have twelve balls. Try as much as you can. The uh, try as much as you can. No matter if we lose the match. By hearing that, we all got up and with new courage. 
finally we finally we won the match in this match we all got the lesson that never lose your hope always try as much as you can thank you Thank you. That was a wonderful speech. Friends, keep encouraging our participants. They are sharing such enlightening content with wonderful expressions. The next participant from Luxury House is Ayati. Okay, the next Ayati, are you ready? It's Adyant. Ma'am, Adyant is next. Okay. Huh. Okay. Adyant, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Shall I share your topic? Uh, yes. Adyant, your topic is uh, if I was invisible for a day. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. One minute. Good morning, teachers and my dear friends. And today, my name is Adyant Shivastav and I'm from class 4, right? Today, my topic is if I was invisible for one day, if I was invisible, then I can make anyone's wish come true. I will not do anything bad. I will do everything good. Whatever they want, I can get it for them. I feel like a genie and help many people as I can. There are many made on invisible characters like Harry Potter, the Hollow Man, and Mr. India. Thank you. Thank you, Adhyan. Thanks, Adhyan, for the wonderful speech. Now we have Sarah with us who is ready to share her speech. <laughs> Ma'am, Seher. Seher, are you ready? Yes, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Um, so here your topic is a memorable experience with your favorite family member. Okay, ma'am. You look happy to get that. I'm Ms. Seher Agrawal. I'm from Lakshya House. I study in grade 4 B. My topic is my memorable experience with my favorite family member. Sometimes on lonely lethargic evening, I travel with the memories of my grandpa. We once pedaled to a village hotel whistling to order the cashew nut smeared brown halpa. I now see a greasy sticky wooden table and smell the smoke the fire would sip. I hear my grandpa narrate my preferred fable as we waited for the halpa to be served. He often acted as though he is in a deep sleep and waited for me to lose my temper and bite his cheek. I once did bite him hard to wake him from his sleep. But he never woke up, but one playing his last trick. Thank you. Excellent performance, Seher. The last participant from Lakshi House is Ayati. Are you ready, Ayati? Yes, ma'am. Um, so the topic for you is the day I got a pet. The day. Good morning, my respected teachers, my beloved friends, and every shining diamond present here. Myself, Aditya Agarwal from class 4C, would like to share my experience on when I got my first pet. When I got my first pet, that day was the best of my life. I really loved pets and animals, but I never got one. I always thought of one and the Diwali vacations were about to start. My father thought about adopting a pet for a day. My grandparents were not agreed with, with his decision, but still he got me a pet for a day. He was a cute little black puppy. I played with him all day, but then my grandparents were furious as they do not love pets. And then it was the time for the pet to go. I was really sad. But then my father encouraged me and said, remember how much fun you had with this pet. And just forget that you are losing this pet. Think that he will come back one day. And this may be true. With this hope he will come back one day again and let him go. 
and I was happy at the end. Thank you. That was Thank a wonderful you. expression indeed. With this, we end the presentations of Gyan and Lecture House. We request our steam judges to share a few words about the event. We thank Kalpana, ma'am. She is. Wait, 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 wait. Both, um, both of them are there. We'll wait for them to speak. No, Vita. We'll wait for them to speak. I think Anuradha, ma'am, you can conclude. <laughs> Yeah, ma'am, you can start. No, you can uh, conclude, I said. Okay, should I? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No problem. Yeah. First of all, thanks a lot for inviting me. And I thank uh, Kalpana, ma'am, Sheel, sir, all the teachers for making me a part of this event. Secondly, uh, children, you have done very well. It is a time. Uh, it is a testing time. And you are really proving yourself so well. I'm so happy to hear all this, what you all have prepared, and you're very good, very nice. Uh, one thing I would just like to share uh, with Ayati. Uh, Ayati, you just told you got a pet for a day, you adopted for a day. So my dear, uh, when you get a pet for a day, that is fostering, not adopting. Adopting is for your uh, entire life. You take care of the pet for your entire life or for the entire life of the pet. One day, if you get a pet, it is fostering. So I just thought to share this so that uh, everybody comes to know that it's a new word, fostering. You take care of somebody for a day or a pet for a day, and then the pet goes again. So not a problem. Uh, all were very good. Thanks a lot again. And all the best. We'll surely give you the results very soon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, ma Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma Anjum, ma'am, can speak now. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so so two things that made me happy are uh, one, the realization that even after uh, this different setup of a school, no activity is stopping. So we are having this online as well, and which is which is making me excited. And another, uh, definitely, the another thing was that. Uh, listening to children speaking so fluently, so confidently. So that was also a uh, very nice feel. Uh, the third thing is I liked the, the kind of topics that were chosen. Uh, I mean, MP1 teachers must have thought through a lot of things and then must have come up with these topics, but they were all very good, the thoughtfully chosen. So uh, all these things are uh, something that I really appreciate. And I thank... Uh, MP1 teachers to invite me for this and this was a nice and uh, new and <coughs> enriching experience for me. So thank you so much. Uh, you all have done very good children and uh, you participated is what matters. So whatever results are there, you will definitely get that of course. But participation is what matters and that's what I congratulate you all of you for that. And also the, the, the uh, presenters, the speakers who were inviting the, these uh, participants they were so coordinatedly, with so much of coordination, they were doing their uh, presentation so that, you know, it, did, it didn't look like ki aap sab alag -alag pe So that, that's what I felt. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, request. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Ma Thank you, ma'am. Ma okay. Uh, we Thank request Kalpana, ma'am, ma to speak few words for, of encouragement for the children. Kalpana, ma'am. So, dear children, it's really great to listen to all of you. And uh, first of all, I felt so good seeing you all because uh, your teachers sit at home in their homes. You are in your homes, but I every day. And the school doesn't have the same feel. There are no children around. So, school feels, uh, you know. It, one feels very lonely and sad, but looking at all of you, talking to you early in the morning, I felt really, really good and I felt so connected. The topics were very good, Nipa, and uh, all of you spoke well. All of you, each one of you was well prepared with these five topics because 
uh, the topics were given to you by the judges and uh, you had relevant points. Uh, the, my only suggestion would be, uh, you know, write every day, write five to 10 lines about something that comes to your mind. Take a topic and write five to 10 lines. So what will happen? Your thoughts will start getting focused on something, right? So if you do that slowly and slowly, you will develop the ability to talk about everything, to write about everything. And your area of expression would increase, okay? All the best to each one of you. All of you were really, really good and so well prepared. That was, again, something nice. At ease, you were not anxious and you were well prepared. So thank you so very much for inviting me to your this competition. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, ma'am. 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 We request Puneet sir to share a few words with our children. Uh, dear children, uh, teachers, respected ma'am, Kalma ma'am, uh, it's really uh, like wonderful, uh, like facing children like with children and like the, the preparation and uh, yeah with these videos i feel that yes uh, we are in the school like uh, kalpana ma'am has said that we are away from school feel actually there's no feel of school it's it's like, like office so when we hear children when i observe class at that moment i feel that yes i am in school so about the program. Uh, was well the program was well organized and uh, topics were also very good. And uh, I should congratulate all the organizers. Uh, they have like uh, planned well and uh, like the speakers, they spoke. Well. I should congratulate the people who have then all the preparation, parents, thank you, sir. guardians who have made thank this you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, 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 sir. Great, great. Keep it up. Keep it up. And uh, do practice. Talk to your parents. Talk to your friends in this language. It will make you fluent. Okay. I think uh, I should not take too much of time. Enjoy yourself. Work hard. Hmm? Okay, children. Bye. Thank you, Bye. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, over to you, ma'am, please. Yes, Simrat. And uh, Sista, you can continue. Yes, ma'am. We hmm. thank Kalpana, ma'am, Shil, sir, Puneet, sir, and our judges for giving their time and being a part of the event. We also thank the participants for putting up a good show, our teachers for, pre for preparing us with all minute details, and not to forget the wonderful audience for being patient listeners. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank so, you, ma'am. You all put up a good show. Thank, yes. you, thank you, ma'am. And thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, sir, ma for thank encouraging, you, and, and encouraging the children. Thank you, I request the Puneet, sir, Atna, ma'am, and Shil, sir, to be a part of our program for grade 5 at 12 o'clock. Sure. I'll be there. Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, sir. Thank yes. you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.